The fight is tough. The challenge is real. How do we stay strong? I mean, the whole fight of the Chashmanayim against the Yavadim was this battle, right? What were the Chashmanayim fighting for? They were fighting for our identity, for Kedusha. The Greeks said it's all about the body, specifically. Do what you want. Immorality. You don't be in control. Chashmanayim said no. A Jew is different. A Jew is a Kadosh. A Kadosh means to be in control. I won't look at whatever I want. I won't think about whatever I want. I won't act whatever way I want to. I'm a Kadosh. I answer to a higher call. But it's hard. Where do we get that strength from? So I want to share with you a medrash that Rapam brings down. It is unbelievable. Mind blow. I was dancing when I saw this. Rapam says that Yosef at Sadiq goes down to Egypt and he stays strong. Asa Potiphar is coming at him every day. She's changing her clothing. One of the most beautiful woman ever. And he's going crazy, but he stays strong. Why? He remembers who he is. He sees Yaakov. He says, I answer to someone higher. I'm part of something bigger. I'm not going to play in the mud. And he's able to stay strong. And you would think, okay, Yosef, good job. You did it for yourself. But here's the chizak. Says the medrash, Shir Hashir and Perik Dalad Yud Vez. Yosef Yorel Mitzrayim. Yosef goes down to Egypt. Vigadar Asum in the Erva. He makes himself strong when it comes to Erva, staying away. Vinigderu Kol Hascharim Beschuso. How did Klai Yisrael stay so strong in Egypt? How did they stay away in the depth of the Tumah, surrounded by Wi Fi everywhere? Surrounded by preachers everywhere. How did they stay strong when it came to Arias, to immorality? Says the Medrash, because of Yosef. Because of Yosef. You see, sometimes we think we're doing something just for ourselves. But here's something that we could think about. When we have a challenge, a temptation, if we stay strong, understand that you're giving koach to your children to overcome their challenges. To your neighbors, to your friends. And use that time. My Rebbe, Rebbe Kalish would always say that when you overcome a Nisayon, if you, if you see a billboard and you look down, so you have a chance to look at something and you hold yourself back, use that time to daven. It's a tremendous ace rutzom because you just became like a malach. You just became like an angel. You just became a kadosh. Physical people just do whatever their physicality and desires tell them to do. That's what the Yavandim said. The Yavandim said, don't act like a neshama. And Yosef says, no, I come from something bigger. I'm much greater than that. And because of that, he empowered all of Klai Yisrael, all the Jewish people, with that strength to be able to stay strong. Imagine how many people you give strength to every time you overcome that Nesayon. And imagine what we could do for our own families and our own children. Hanukkah is the time to bring Kedusha into our home. The Greeks wanted to break our home. They wanted to infiltrate. One of the laws was we weren't allowed to put locks on our houses, on the doors to our homes. And where do we put the Hanukkah candles? By our home. All the other mitzvahs, chauffeur, blow anywhere you go. Wherever you go, travel with the chauffeur, travel over the estuary. Menorah, when you travel, sorry, the menorah stays at home. They wanted to infiltrate our homes and we put them in nowhere there. We say, no, we are going to show you how to live. We're not going to look at your magazines to learn how to live. We are going to show you how to live. We have the secret. As we're fighting that fight of Kedusha, let's keep in mind that we're bringing so many other people with us. Every time we are miscaber or we try to be miscaber, we're in the fight and we're pushing. We're giving strength to so many others, to our family, to our future generations.